Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, last time I was at a convention for Xena, 2000, I feel like 2003? Would it have been that? Okay, so it's been a while. I have to admit, I had to go on Google last night and YouTube <laughs> to refresh my memory about Alaska. So can you all help me? Um, it, say what? I was a goddess, self-proclaimed goddess of chaos. I'll never forget that. Um, 1996. Oh, my breasts were bigger then. That's what 15 months of breastfeeding can do. No longer the Amazon. <laughs> It's all called padding now. Um, so, well, you want to start with questions, or you just want me to keep like <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever I want to do. Well, let's see. Um, should we start about the inception of um, Alaska? People always. I think it's interesting. People, I I did read again on the internet that um, somehow. It's always up there that I was one of the actresses that turned down the role of Xena. I'm not really sure how that got started. I do know that I auditioned for Hercules when that was first being cast, and I believe I auditioned for the role of his mother, possibly. <laughs> was it Diane? Who? <laughs> she, she never aged. <laughs> right. um, but then, uh, and then when Xena started, and during that time, I, I was either brought in or offered a role or two during the Hercules era. And then Lucy ended up playing some roles that turned, that she played a few roles before Xena, correct? And I feel like it may have been one of those roles that I was offered and unavailable for. And that's how that rumor got started. So, no, no, no. Wouldn't want to ever take that away. Um, uh, so, let's see. Alaska. Going to New Zealand. Now that was an interesting experience. I um, had never been there. Ended up there for a month for two episodes, which was a long time, but a beautiful country. I think one of the first things I remember is that um, I had cut my hair off when I right before I got to New Zealand, and when I got off the plane, the person greeting me, eyes went like this, Whoa! on the phone instantly talking about having to get hair and wefts and what they're going to have to do in the costume situation. Um, apparently, they thought I had long hair still, and, oh, and Amazons don't have short, cute, you know, 90s cuts, like, you know, like the mini Rachel. <laughs> apparently, I needed my um, hair. And, uh, and I was really, really quite, I tell this story even to this day, just how impressive this entire production was in New Zealand, because it, I mean, it was just, it was pre Lord of the Rings, and I, if I if I have my information correct, I mean so many talented people went on to work on this trilogy, didn't they? Did they not? Yeah. I I was just amazed. A room bigger than this just for costumes and leather work, <laughs> and you know, of course, you hear you're going to wear some kind of loincloth, and you're hoping <laughs> it's going to be. Um, flattering and hold everything in place, and it did even more than that, obviously. Um, I always liked 